Welcome to Kent Channel. Today we have with us again Dr. Robert B. Eldridge, uh, formerly of the U.S. Marine Corps <laughs> in Okinawa. You weren't actually a Marine though, were you? I, I wasn't. I didn't have a, a, a military background, but I had a, a, a deep passion for the work of the Marine Corps. So I became a, uh, they call it a civilian Marine, oh. so a, uh, a government official uh, in support of the Marine Corps. Civilian Marine, it also almost sounds like an oxymoron. <laughs> And so, um, okay, and you have now, now left that post as of May 1st, mm -hmm. and uh, you've got something new going. Tell us about that. Yes. Um, for several years, I've wanted to create a, um, a think tank in Okinawa uh, that would permit a calm, rational, objective discussion about U.S.-Japan relations, uh, base issues, um, Okinawa and Okinawa's future. Mm -hmm. So the think tank is a um, is a inclusive, um, interdisciplinary, international, uh, bipartisan uh, think tank that we've created with um, friends in Okinawa, uh, U.S., uh, mainland Japan, uh, to to have a discussion about a, a lot of it, you know issues that are surrounding the two countries, uh, to make some recommendations, also to work at. Um, Helping to develop the the uh, the youth and uh, and young people of, um, of of both countries, but especially uh, the young people living in Okinawa Prefecture, mm -hmm. um, give uh, provide them with opportunities to uh, maybe eventually study abroad, do internships, uh, find um, very meaningful you know employment. Mm -hmm. um, be doing a you know a lot of uh, a lot of research, joint research. Um, a lot of international exchange projects, mm -hmm. um, so uh, very excited about about wow, this. That's great! You just barely set this up. You have a place down there. We we the, have the fact, the, the fact that it's in Okinawa. I mm -hmm. think is, is very meaningful. Mm -hmm. Thank you. We have a we've identified the the place we would like to move into. We literally just started this week, so we have a uh, we have an office that we're working from, but that's not big enough to support everything we want right. to do. Uh, it will be located in central Okinawa, and as, as you can imagine, the reason for that is that's where the majority of the bases right. are located. And to make it easy for uh, U.S. Um, officials or uh, base personnel to go there, um, it re probably really needs to be located close to the, the, the uh, bases rather than in the capital city of Naha. Mm -hmm. Which is a a long drive from any base, um, you know, in Okinawa. Yeah, especially given the current traffic situation. Correct. I mean, yeah, I've lived there, and the traffic situation gets worse every time I go there. The traffic situation is worse than it was. Mm -hmm. before. Mm -hmm. That's uh, something that's, and I, they keep widening this, the street, but uh, just it's not enough. Well, this is an excellent development because when you when you have uh, governments talking together as governments, you know, diplomacy is ninety percent. You know, baloney, and uh, and uh, civilians really have a hard time getting into all of that. Mm -hmm. To step out of that uh, role of, of, of a government versus you know representative and more into a kind of like a scholar role, mm -hmm. I mean, that's got to be a real relief to you to be able to really pull things together. It is, you, it, know, you know, it'll come with a lot, really. of, right? It'll well, it'll come with a lot of significant responsibilities, obviously. But and of um, you have to be financed, which is and important. and the financing will be, uh, you know, key, uh, you know, a key thing: transparent uh, um, accountability and financing mm -hmm. and all that. Um, a lot of the work that I tried to do, and I did do on the base with international exchange, uh, mm -hmm. I'll I would like to carry over with me and do from off the base. Um, so uh, extremely excited about that. But having been in government, I know what the limitations are on government. Right. Government, there's only certain things governments can do, and that's where the power of the civilian sector or the civilian side uh, or civil society is so very important. The more we can work in partnership, you know, the better things may be. But there are limitations on, on really what a government can do. Um, and so uh, expectations on the civilian side are, are extremely high. Well, this is really exciting. Tell us Thank the you. name of the organization. Uh, and the English name is the Okinawa Crossroads 
Institute. Okay. And the Japanese name is Okinawa Koksai Koryu Seisaku Kenkyu Sho. <laughs> Japanese is a lot longer. A lot longer, yeah. And you have a home page? We do have a home page, Facebook page. It's in the process of further development. Right, but... right. You just started. Correct. Yeah. So um, we can all look on there and you know, get more information. Thank you. Thank you.